Hello and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 Tutorials with Noria. We're going to be solving the second part of the sample rank and cycle. We are asked to determine the thermal efficiency of a sample rank and cycle from the previous problem, knowing that the isentropic efficiency of the pump and the turbine are 85 and 90 percent. So in the previous problem, we have found the work of the turbine pump and the heat input in the boiler. And we also have a TS diagram that looks something like that. We have state one, which is before the turbine, the fluid expands to state two, then it goes through the boiler to three, and then it gets pumped to four, and then it goes back to the boiler. This is assuming uh, in a perfect world. However, in actual life, due to fluid friction and heat losses, we will have something like this. So two prime and four prime are the actual cases, while two and four are the isentropic, which assumes there's no losses. So if we know the thermal efficiencies, for example, if we take the thermal efficiency of the pump, we know it's going to be equal to the work of the pump in an isentropic work and work of the pump in the actual case. This is also going to be equal to the change in delta P H4 minus H3 H over H4 prime minus H3. By knowing this, we already have calculated the work of the pump in the, in the isentropic case. We are given the thermal efficiency of the pump, so we can calculate the work, the actual work of the pump, which will be equal to the work of the pump in the isentropic case over the thermal efficiency. The work of the pump that we found previously is 4.03 kilojoule per kilogram over, over the thermal efficient of the pump, which is going to be 85% or 0 0.85. And this is going to be equal to 5.038 kilojoule per kilogram. The same way we can calculate the actual work of the turbine. So we know that the thermal efficiency of the turbine is equal to the work of the turbine in the actual over the work of the turbine of the isentropic. This is going to give us the actual work of the turbine. It's equal to the thermal efficiency of the turbine times the work found in the isentropic case. And we know that the thermal efficiency given is 90%. So it's going to be equal to 0 0.9 times the work of the turbine that was given that we found previously is 1,204.24 kilojoule per kilogram. This is going to give us a work of the turbine, an actual work of the turbine, 1,083.82 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we can find the actual thermal efficiency by recalling the equation that we said is the thermal efficiency is going to be equal to work net over heat input that's going to be equal to the work of the turbine minus the work of the pump over the heat at the boiler. And we have the actual cases. So we know the work of the turbine, which is calculated, is 1,083.82 minus the actual work of the pump, 5.038. And the heat input and the boiler 
is 3,252.83. And then we're going to have a thermal efficiency of 0.332 or 33.2%. So as we say before, in an actual case, there is losses due to different factors, and that is why the thermal efficiency is lower than what we found before.